Hello everyone. Um, guess what? It's time for a Lightwave tutorial. I haven't done one of those for maybe a year or so, maybe, but um, just hadn't had occasion to. Uh, I wanted to thank everyone for, um, anyway, I'm up to past 2,000 subscribers now. That's pretty cool for me. And so um, I'd like to thank everyone for subscribing. Uh, so here's a Lightwave tutorial. And uh, here is a character. Uh, this is for this nursing program I'm doing, this kind of nursing avatar and it's going to be a bunch of like virtual characters and so I just did this as a test this character here was um, animated in Blender and then I brought the animation in using the MDD format I've shown you in previous tutorials how to do that uh, the problem is the hair here these are the guides um, for the hair and as you can see the hair is not following around uh, not following uh, um, along with this character uh, the hair was modeled as a separate object I know it looks funky, but uh, it was just for a test. So anyway, um, so I need to find a way to have the hair parented to this, but there's no bones or anything like that. So um, you know, how am I going to uh, accomplish that? Well, I'd like to parent the hair to one specific point or polygon on this character. And so I found a way of doing this that's pretty easy, and um, I like stuff that's quick and easy because uh, I don't have a lot of time for stuff. I have to do things on extremely short deadlines. And so what I found was, if I select the character that's animated, I go to um, hit P for properties, I go to the dynamic tab, and go to add dynamics, soft dynamic, soft effects, I double click on that. And then if I turn off all these forces, turn these down to zero, all right, I think everything else is okay. And then I just hit uh, calculate. And it says dynamics are calculating. It may take a few seconds or a few minutes, depending on what's going on. Okay. Still going. And so basically what's going to happen, it's going to calculate all the points on this object. And then when I go to the edit effects, I can click on edit tool and hold on a second let me hide this thing here or let me just move that away so you can see everything select the female nurse okay and when we bring up the edit tool now we can see all of the points on this object all right each single point on the object has been calculated so let's take one of these points right here on the top of the head and as you can see you can see the motion path for every single point on this object, point by point, the motion paths have been uh, created. And so I'll just select that uh, point right there on the top of the head, and under this edit map, or I'm sorry, under commands, I'll just say make path. And there you see what, what has happened is it automatically created a null object that tracked that point through space, and it's been animated. So that null object completely, totally follows the path of that um, that point and so now you can probably figure out what I'm going to do next it's pretty easy is just take this here object and it looks like one of the people from Mel Gibson's uh, Road Warrior movies here but I'm just gonna put this in here line it up to a certain degree and again this is not the final hair here it looks much better when it's actually you know when the hair is actually um, rendered using fiber effects and I'm just going to take that and I'm going to drop it drag and drop it in the scene editor underneath that null and parent it to it and so now you'll see that in fact the object has been parented to a point on uh, this mesh and as you can see it's following around uh, along completely so that way I was able to parent um, objects to meshes that have been animated from other programs and brought in here using the MDD format. And of course, you could use dynamic parenting or anything you wanted, um, you know, in order to have things kind of pop, you know, for example, have things grasped in the hand and let go and stuff like that. So that's one method of doing it. There's other ways of doing it that are much more difficult or time consuming that maybe give you more options. This one, I think, is a nice to kind of trade off between just quick and dirty, easy to get done, uh, only takes a few seconds once you know what you're doing, and, uh, it's uh, pretty useful.